my channel so today's video is going to be on an unboxing slash first impressions on some new products that I just got they're not new but they are new to me because I'm adding them to my collection um, yeah and so there were some products that didn't get into the video because I originally shot it for um, my Instagram and then I decided why not put this up on YouTube so here I am doing an intro and I wanted to show some products that did not make it into the video because I showed these on my Instagram um, last week so this is a palette called Glamir it is a glitz and glam eyeshadow palette and it is beautiful the glitters are just stunning really hard to kind of show up close with this ring light because I'm getting a lot of overexposure but this is the Cara, this is the ES1624 Galaxy Shadow Palette. These are all pressed glitters in here. Um, I don't do a whole lot with glitters. I don't wear a lot of glitter. Oh, you guys can't see. I'm going to have to show from a distance. I don't wear a lot of um, pressed glitter shadows because they're, quite frankly, they're like a bitch to work with. But... <laughs> Um, and you definitely want to use your glitter primer or glitter glue. Um, but these glitters are a little bit more user-friendly and wearable, a little bit easier. I got these, this trio on Sephora website. These are Stila. They were three for $25. And then I got the Urban Decay um, Heavy Metal. Um, this one's in the shade Midnight Cowboy. And then I got the Urban Decay Liquid Moon Dust. And this one is in the shade Chemtrail, so I'm excited to work with these. And I also got this little guy. This is a quick color change. I'm really in love with this um, little thing. So if you're going to be using the same brush kind of in between colors, you can just kind of swish this around and just kind of do a quick um, cleaning of the brush in between color changes. I love this little guy. I am working on getting a video put together. It is going to be for a soft glam wearable cut crease for the hooded eye. So I'm going to go over all sorts of tips and tricks um, on how to get the look if you have hooded eyes and also going to take the look from day to night. I'm going to go over all of that in the tutorial. And so that video is going to be coming very, very soon. Sorry that it's been so long since I've had a video, but I am redoing my makeup station right back here and I'm waiting on some stuff and then I'm going to um get the video put together once all of that is done so yeah if you guys want to check out all of the rest of the new stuff that i got then just keep watching and if you're new here don't forget and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it so you'll be notified of all of my uploads and without further ado let's get into this video so i'm going to do a little video today i just got some new stuff from neiman's and i'm really really excited my makeup PlayStation back here is a mess. I am waiting on a couple of organizers. I'm waiting on a new mirror, and then I'm going to kind of put it all together, and then I'm going to actually film a tutorial on a beautiful, glitzy, glam cut crease. It's very easy to do. It's wearable. If you have hooded eyes, I'm going to go over all the tips and tricks on how to achieve the look, and yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun, and I cannot wait. I have not had a chance to sit here and play forever, so... I'm hoping to get to that soon. So let's take a look at these products. First up, this is the Neo Bronzer from Kevin Aquan in the shade Sienna Coral. This looks so beautiful. This looks like something that I would use as an all over blush and bronzer. You know how like this one, the Kevin Aquan um, Neo Bronzer, because it's a gradient, I'm probably going to go in with my Kevin Aquan large powder brush. I love this. It's got a really tall lucite handle. It is a very big and a fluffy and very, very dense. I love this. This is great for an all over wash of color. So I probably would just swirl all of these together, tap off and just do an all over wash of color with this one. Next up, I have the, this is Jane Irida, Iridale, um, great shape. This is a contour kit. I don't do any contouring at all. Um, but I'm hoping that I can use this as a bronzer. So we shall see. Yeah, so this one is the, it's called the Great Shape um, Contour Kit in the shade Warm. So um, it doesn't look like these shades have any shimmer to them. They appear to be all matte. So this would be a good, like a face powder. Um, and this would be good as like, not necessarily like a brightening powder because this doesn't look too, too bright. Um, but it looks like it would be good for a warm it up. 
you know, you kind of put it like all over your face, kind of like as a finishing powder, just kind of warm it up. And then this would be, you know, the bronzer. I, I would use it as a bronzer because I don't do any contouring. I'm going to, it's always fun to get new products and like sit here and like play. I wonder if I could use this as a bronzer and get kind of a nice color out of it. And then I got the Real Her Fearless, Be Fearless, Be Limited. There's a peek here. It looks like this. It's in this packaging here. And you open it up. Oh, this looks nice. Yeah, this, this looks like something that's really wearable for me. Um, you've got these shades. This is Unstoppable, Limitless, and Fearless. Ah, there goes the plastic thing. So this is Treat Your Cheeks to a Multidimensional National Flush. Natural Flush. Actually, not Flush. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I need to do like a bloopers video. So yeah, this is what um, this looks like. And this is the brand real. Um, oh, what the heck? Let's go ahead and open it. I've already got my foundation on for the day, so I'm not going to be using this. But let's take a look. I don't even know. I picked up the shade Rose Beige, so I'm excited to see what this looks like. Oh, it, it looks like this. I wish I could show you guys products. I'm going to have to wait until I get a camera to do that. Oh, it's a pump. That's nice. And I'm pretty sure this has the broad spectrum SPF and 25 in it. So yeah, I'm excited to try this. Um, so yeah, and my clay to Poe foundation looks like this. And I have been using this, like I said, for well over 10 years. I haven't used any other foundation except for clay to Poe for 10 years. So this is going to be my first try with something else. Um, and this also has SPF of 24, the Clay de Peau does. So, yeah, her. All right, so that wraps up today's video. Thank you guys so much for your time, and thank you for watching. I know that there's a million YouTubers out there. You guys have a million choices. Thank you for spending some of your time with me. I greatly appreciate it. I love you guys. Thank you, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah! Bye. Yeah.